Hey everyone, how's it going? It's me, it's Korzak. Welcome to the final part of the Dark Cloud 2 walkthrough. It also just so happens to be part 50, which is cool. We're just gonna go through all of the dead ends and then go beat the boss. We have uh, accomplished everything in this game. As you saw in the last video, I actually got my platinum trophy there. But yeah, we're just gonna go through all these guys right here. Well, we don't need our speed of stick anymore, so let's put on a good weapon. <laughs> let's see, what are these guys weak against? They are not weak against Max. Alright, well, whatever. We can keep his buff for later anyway. Let's unequip her cheese, and we'll give her some stamina drinks. Alright, it seems like her armband is kind of the strongest weapon, so let's just give ourselves some distance. These enemies should be pretty easy. Oh. That literally did absolutely nothing. <laughs> Maybe Steve is just going to be the best way to handle him. Oh yeah. He's going to make the shortest work of them. Let's just fix his weapons quickly. Cool. So this will probably just give us some gen stones or something. Healing coin. I know that in Dead End 3 that gives... Oh, Sunstone. In the third Dead End, that's where we get the item required to um, continue on in the story. To actually let us go and fight the last boss. Let's just eat some bread. I mean, there isn't really much to prepare for. The final boss is honestly really easy, I gotta say. There's not too much of a challenge. Dead end number two. It's basically just mini bosses, really. <laughs> the exploding skeletal dude. <laughs> These guys are probably gonna be weak for Max's gun, actually, since they're undead. These are rare jackets. Oh yeah. So he's going to make super short work of these guys. Oh yeah, his hammer and his gun are very good against them. <laughs> okay, well, they're also good against Max. That's pretty high damage. Oh, oh. I'm so bad at this game, apparently. <laughs> it's like I've never played. Oh well. Unscripted. <laughs> Monica's even better. Is he just gonna sit? He's literally just gonna sit there. Oh no, I just paralyzed him, that's why. <laughs> I shouldn't let her get hit, because then we'll have to uh, reload our save. These guys aren't particularly strong, though. Oh yeah, so a viable option would have just been to group them all up and then do the charge attack. No matter, we're done now. That was anticlimactic. There we go. <laughs> Level ups on her sword at this point are not going to really do anything because it's max stats. There's a moonstone. Oh yeah, I also got a moonstone for winning in speed on one of the floors. <laughs> I unfortunately never even used any of them. It just wasn't really necessary and I'd rather just hold on to it, I guess. Alright. We're going to do dead end number three last, so let's go to, num to number four. The Mandrakers, the Battle Plant Squad. Okay. <laughs> well, they're probably going to be weak against Monica's sword. Oh, yeah, I forgot they have that bark attack. Yeah, here we go. Tearing it up. Oh, they're so weak. They're so easy. <laughs> yeah, they're weak against their armband, too, actually. Yeah, these really aren't that difficult at all, really. Of course, we also have OP weapons. Stronger than they really need to be. A diamond. And another diamond. 
casually getting the best items in the game. Oh, yeah, whatever. No big deal. <laughs> well, we really just don't need anything now. Dead end number three. Number three. The Flappin' Brothers. That's just weird. Oh, they're going to be weak against Monica's sword. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they're so easy. <laughs> and then my, the last boss is pretty much weak against Max, really. And yeah, that's it, they're done. There's the dynamite. We need that to uh, fight the last boss and beat the game. Experience coin. And a poison coin. Alright, well, moving on. I guess it's time to go and uh, beat the game or something. <laughs> well, that's really all, all the game's got to do. I'm kind of happy we are able to uh, get this in, into part 50. It's kind of cool and convenient. A nice even number to finish the game on. Well, we may as well have our save over file 1. Just because, why not? All right, let's uh, let's do do it. The Zelmite Mine Depths. Yeah, you should probably eat some chicken. <laughs> and we'll fix up their weapons too, because why not? I mean, they're not even going to use their melee weapons. Well, no, they they will. Yeah, that's it. I may as well show you the weapon stats. I did end up maxing out all the secondary stats too. Just because why not. And we'll show you Steve's weapons, although they don't ever change. Alright, well. Oh yeah, we should put the camera on. There are two more photos to get actually. They don't do anything, but I guess it's we may as well have them. And that is it, really. There is nothing else to cover. We may as well just make some resurrection powder. Just to kind of have it. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. If we just don't die, we won't need it. Alright, let's go win this fight. think you can take my jewels, eh? I'll not allow it. What is it? I guess this is that new boss that Flotsam was talking about. Huh? This thing? <laughs> Friends of Flotsam, are we? He came to me, asking me to make him strong, which I did. But how soon he has betrayed me. I guess he just didn't have what it takes. Oh, actually, you two don't look so bad. I'm quite hungry just now. I don't suppose you'd mind if I ate you? Eat us? What are you, crazy? No way! Sorry. I think I'll just eat you anyway. I love this music. <laughs> well, grab a photo of the ore over there. And we shouldn't stand in one place for too long. And we're just going to... If we can actually find him, he's literally gone, or something. 
Alright, just run away. We'll hop on Steve to give us some distance. Steve isn't really going to be too useful in this fight, though. Oh yeah, that beam right there. Well, at least we know where the guy is. Just snag a... If you can actually get it, just snag a photo of the big guy. And that's it. His animation looks really weird right now. Anyway. We got the Zelmite found. And we got Mr. Big Shot Shadow. <laughs> Those are the last two photos. They're not used for anything. But they're kind of cool to have, I suppose. So that's it. We have every single photo in the entire game. That is it. All the way from the bottom to the top, all the way from the top to the bottom. Well, we may as well stick these two photos in our album. Just because why not. And we can just get rid of that. And we can get rid of that. Those aren't really useful to have. Move to album. And move to album. That is what you call 100% game completion. And we don't need this. And this is what your score should be after you have every picture. Alright, maybe we should actually win this now. <laughs> you can't walk onto these guys at all. Look at that, 1500 damage. <laughs> They also take very high damage from the supernova. But these are very weak enemies. They have a very hard, a very high guard rate. These are more just annoying enemies than anything. <laughs> if you stand in one place for too long, you risk the chance of uh, getting killed by that guy's beam, which does like 200 damage. If there's not too many of these things up at a current moment in time, you should be able to deal damage to the boss man. Yeah, like that right there. Okay, there's too many of these things up now, so we have to lighten the herd a bit. He's actually a really easy fight to do. Let's just get a little bit closer to the guy. Yeah, Steve's damage is incredibly low against these things. Oh yeah, look at that. We're chugging his HP down. There we go, we're done. It's a very easy fight, even without super overpowered weapons. Well, it's time to enjoy the show. He's gone. What was it anyway? I don't know. But let's go and let the mayor know about this Zelmite deposit. With this, Blackstone Railroad should be able to really expand. Okay, let's go back to town. Okay, that's enough. Today, the Blackstone Railroad will set off on a new journey around our entire region. I hope the world will follow this example and start developing again. Wow, the mayor seems so dignified now. Yeah, you're right. Although we face a great many hardships ahead, I am certain that if we all work together, we will see them through safely. You, the great citizens of Palm Brinks, have weathered so many storms and coped with so much adversity that today's victory goes to you all. There was a time when our world was blanketed in darkness. 
the people of that time fought back and reclaimed their future. I'll take my but the story of their battle could never be passed down to future generations. Did this amazing adventure really happen or not? No one can say for sure. But if you could walk out into the night sky and speak to the moon, I'm certain it would tell you all about our strange adventure. It's kind of cheesy, but it's, uh, I really love this game's story. This is a very beautiful song. And that is the end of this game. There is nothing else. I don't know, I kind of wish they would say what happened to Monica in the end. Or if, like, Max and Monica got married. <laughs> I don't know, that would just be kind of cool, I guess. I don't know, kind of like with what happened with his father and his mother. I think it would be kind of cool if the same thing happened for him and Monica. But, you never know. And we probably won't ever know, because I don't think there's going to be a Dark Cloud 3. Although, they don't, they don't really have to make one. Because these games are just so good already. Well, that's it everybody. Thanks for watching the entire series. And I hope, I hope you enjoyed and I hope it helped. Maybe it motivated you to do the Platinum. And hopefully you stuck through the metalhead grind. But I, I gotta say, I really don't recommend doing the platinum for this game. Unless you just really have a lot of spare time. Or you just really feel like you want to get this trophy done. For me, it was a little bit of both. And also just being able to make a walkthrough for it at the same time kind of made me feel like I would be working towards more than one thing at once. So it made me feel a little bit productive, I guess. Anyway, that's it. So we'll see you in the next game, or whatever I decide to do next. So, have a good day. Thank you for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye.